on the mountain, in the valley, in the crowded streets, or the empty desert. In our hope and in our waiting, we are never alone. God is with us. Hi, today's devotional thought is based out of Matthew chapter 10. In Matthew chapter 10, Jesus is giving guidance to his disciples. So as Christians, we are followers of Jesus. And honestly, a fancy word to use to describe that experience of following Jesus is being called a disciple. And in the time of Jesus, he had uh, what a lot of people primarily call the 12 disciples. And as he is leading them, as he's guiding them, he is going to send them out to share the good news of what God has given Jesus and what Jesus wants us to know. Each one of us has a way to minister to the people around us. That is not hitting them with a Bible or getting a picket sign telling them that if they don't accept God, they're going to hell. You know, instead, in Matthew chapter 10, we hear a description of the mission of a way that the disciples are supposed to lead and minister to their people. So the first um, part of Matthew chapter 10, it's a fairly long chapter, but the first part is describing who was called. And then uh, Jesus gives them the advice to go to serve people. They're supposed to go to minister in villages, help to lead and to heal people. And there's this emphasis on making sure that the motives is not based on what they get in return, but based on what they can do for others and what God wants them to do. You see, as Christians, we want the best for people. We don't just want something from them. We don't just want them sitting in our pews. We don't just want them giving money to our church. But rather, we want to let them know how much God cares about them. So that that is where we get in into um, the reality of of Christians. In verse 16, 16 through uh, 22, Jesus gives a uh, warning per se, a, a caution that the, the, the ministry, the, the journey to serve others may not always be easy. The disciples are told about persecution, about those that get mad because they're sharing their faith. In an increasingly secular world, that is a reality that we may find ourselves in as Christians, where people are have been burnt by bad religion, and they don't want to hear from Christians. But yet Jesus says, do not let this discourage or give you an excuse to stop reaching out to the people around you. You know, Jesus says that if people are rejecting the message, to shrug it off. An ancient word is dust your feet off, you know. Don't take it personal. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be wrong to say that there is a reward for sharing our faith. But the reward is not a you know end of all be all case. Like the the, the, the reward is not the reason why we're Christians. But Jesus does promise us that He will reward us for our efforts to serve others. That God loves us so much that He's preparing a place for us. And that everyone is invited as long as we're willing to accept. So as you read Matthew chapter 10, may you understand that God is calling you to minister to the people around you. But you're not supposed to do it alone. Go to Him. Ask Him to give you the words to say. Ask Him to give you the courage to share your faith. And may you realize that when you share the good news of who God is with others, that's a blessing not just to others, but to yourself as well. May you know that God never leaves you nor forsakes you.
He doesn't leave you out to drown, but rather he guides you. And may we be guided by him. Thank you.